the ocean of the world is deep and terrifying. Brimming with all manner of monsters, be they sharp-toothed, behemoths, or venomous jellyfish, it is a worrying place down there. These are the most dangerous ocean creatures in the world. Number 15. Dunkelosteus the Dunkelosteus, you'll be glad to know, hasn't been around for a while. About 350 million years, to be exact. So while we're just warming you up with a terrifying monster that you're not too likely to ever see, let's just take a look at how terrifying it is as a fossil. And now let's imagine that thing really swimming around in the water. They could grow to 30 feet and weigh up to 4.5 tons. Like modern suction feeders, this fish could open and close its jaws with great speed, and had a massive bite force of 1,600 psi. That's what they mean when they say hard and fast. It seems to have been pretty successful, as these fossils have shown up in all kinds of places, including North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco. This was truly the most badass predator of those distant times, and it had a huge armored head covered in bony plates. These plates formed in to points at the front of the mouth, which acted like teeth, and they would keep growing as the fish got older, meaning it could tackle bigger and bigger prey. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Killer whales are one of the deadliest creatures in the ocean, though their name should have given that away. Also known as an orca, they feed on fish, but will sometimes munch down on seals and other species of dolphin. There's no denying that if they could get their teeth into you, they absolutely would. Orcas are actually pretty complex creatures, which has led to many experts debating how humane it is to keep them in captivity. Huge, hungry, and clever? Yikes! These are some dangerous animals. As always, comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Fox Jellyfish there are around 50 species of box jellyfish living off the coast of Australia, and luckily only a few have venom, which is dangerous for humans. But the ones that do happen to contain some of the deadliest venom in the world. Worse still, they are almost transparent, which makes them extra difficult to see in the water, and they measure only about 7 inches in length. So good luck spotting that. The sting from this jellyfish releases a neurotoxin which attacks the nervous system and the heart. Bad news, and more than 60 people have died from the box jellyfish sting in the last 100 years. Thanks to climate change, we are seeing an explosion in the jellyfish population, which means that they are heading closer and closer to shore as they run out of space. So the chances of brushing up against those nasty three-foot-long tentacles are higher than ever. The tentacles contain 5,000 stinging cells and are mainly used as a form of defense. The only predator this creature has is the almighty sea turtle, which has a kind of immunity to their stings. Save us sea turtles! Number 13. Flower Urchin this sea urchin is known for being pretty as a flower, and that's why it's called the flower urchin. But don't be fooled by its looks. If you get the desire to bend down and sniff it, you may find yourself in a lot of trouble. Because those flowers are actually tentacles, which contain a kind of jaw capable of injecting venom strong enough to kill a person. That's why this angry urchin was named as the most aggressive sea urchin in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. Sea urchins tend to stick together, waddling about on little tubed feet, and they are the definition of dead beauty. They live at depths of up to 300 feet, mainly in the waters of the Indo-West Pacific. In spite of all this, these urchins are actually collected and eaten by some extremely brave people living in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. They pull out all the guts and fill it with rice and coconut milk before boiling it. Apparently it's delicious, but I'll just take their word for it. Number 12. Stonefish 
Here's a champion, the most venomous fish in the world, and its name is the stonefish. The spines along its body all contain sacs of venom. And these are triggered whenever anything applies some kind of pressure to its body. Here's the tricky part. It looks exactly like a stone, or sometimes with coral-colored flecks, like a piece of coral. So this means it's pretty easy to miss and plenty of people have clumsily stepped right onto a stonefish and felt its extremely painful sting, which can even be fatal. All Australian beaches carry supplies of vinegar, which can reduce the effects of the stonefish venom, and stepping on these is actually pretty common in Australia. Like the flower urchin, stonefish are also a delicacy. Apart from the venomous spines, this fish is tasty and not poisonous in any way. In Asia, it is a popular dish, and is even served raw as sashimi. One more thing about the stonefish that is pretty unusual is its ability to survive up to 24 hours out of water. So in or out of the ocean, if you see a funny looking rock, better not to step on it. Number 11. Cone Snail that's right, it's a snail, and you were all sat there expecting a video with 15 different kinds of sharks, weren't ya? Not on this channel, we're digging up the real badass stuff. Snails. And I bet you never thought a snail could be deadly, but this one very much is. They are indeed related to the slimy creatures we know and love from rainy days in our gardens. There's a couple of small differences though. First up, they live in the ocean. Second, they have a kind of brown and cream shell, which looks like something from the 1970s. And finally, they can kill you. A lot of divers have tried to get close to this cool looking snail and lived to regret it. If they lived at all that is, the cone snail has a sharp, needle-shaped proboscis, and when it feels threatened, it starts getting jabby. The proboscis is sharp and powerful enough to pierce diving gloves, and it can inject venom powerful enough to kill 10 people. This sadistic little snail also hits you with a powerful painkiller at the same time, so you don't even know you've been bitten until it's too late. And get this, we have no anti-venom, so you just have to tough it out and hope for the best. Number 10. Portuguese Man o' War it would be pretty easy to mistake the Portuguese man o' war for a jellyfish. What with it being brightly colored, a blob, and having massive tentacles. But it is not a jellyfish at all. It is a creature known as a siphonophore, which is a highly unusual creature. It consists of several different animals, all working together to keep one ship aloft. Put at one place by human beings. The main organism is a bladder filled with gas, and this sits floating on the surface, and it is the part which gives this creature its name, since the bladder kind of resembles an old style warship from the Renaissance, which is when the Portuguese Man o' War was first recorded by science, and an era when the Portuguese were the greatest navy. The tentacles, which can grow to a huge 160 feet in length, are a completely separate organism. They have have a nasty sting, and once something gets wrapped up in them, there's really little way out, eventually being absorbed by all the parts of the Man o' War as food. Sometimes they can be found floating in colonies of 1,000 individuals, and while one sting might not be fatal, falling into a thousand of them certainly can be. Number 9. Titan Triggerfish the Titan Triggerfish is found in lagoons and reefs at 160 feet below the surface throughout most of the Indo-Pacific. It is also sometimes known as the Mustache Triggerfish due to its uncanny resemblance to Tom Selleck in his Magnum P.I. days. Apart from their manly mustaches, they are also known for being all-round tough guys, loving nothing more than a good fist fight, Russell Crowe style. Especially the females, this this is one of the most aggressive fish in the ocean.
and when they are in reproduction season, the females will attack pretty much anything that comes near its nest, including human divers. They can give a pretty nasty bite, and the strong and sharp teeth have been known to inflict serious injury. Even though these fish are not venomous, they may be beautiful to look at, but divers from Thailand to Australia know to keep well clear of these angry animals, because they will attack even unprovoked, and can bite through fins, gloves, and wetsuits. Someone needs to give the triggerfish a cup of chamomile tea and maybe a handful of chill pills. Number 8. Pufferfish the puffer fish is one seriously weird fish, and surely one of the planet's most unique species. They look pretty awkward and are certainly slow moving, but you do not want to mess with the puffer fish, and I'm sure any Minecraft veteran will be able to tell you why. When the puffer fish feels threatened, it is able to rapidly suck in water or air, which makes it blow up like a balloon. This makes all the spikes on its skin, which normally lie flat, stand up. Suddenly, it doesn't look quite so good to eat. This fish can reach up to a meter in length and three kilograms in weight. But in nature, there's always someone willing to give it a try anyway. And if they do, there's a nasty surprise waiting for them. The puffer fish is highly venomous, and its flesh is filled with tetrodotoxin, a poison 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide. So what crazy creatures would try and eat one of these deadly water hedgehogs? Uh, well, the Japanese for a start. They love eating puffer fish, and they call it fugu. Especially skilled chefs cut out the poisonous organs and serve the rest, but many people die every year from poorly prepared fugu, making this one of the most dangerous dinners in all the world. I'll stick with a filet of fish. Thanks. Number 7. Blue Ringed Octopus most octopuses are only a threat to people when they choke while swallowing one of these sticky tentacles while eating a seafood platter. But there is one species of octopus that's not like any other, the blue ringed octopus. This is the only octopus which is venomous to humans. <laughs> It's extremely brightly colored, which as we know in nature, usually means do not attach. They are also not much bigger than a golf ball, but they carry enough venom to kill more than a casual 25 people in one dose. They're tiny, camouflaged, and also inject a painkiller, so you don't even know you've been bitten. By the time you realize, it may be all too late. And with all that weaponry, you might be asking if they are pretty chill. Well, the answer is no. These are some super aggressive eight-legged freaks, and they just love to go on the attack and show off how insanely deadly they are. Just to compound matters, there is not even an anti-venom for this octopus's sting. So although attacks are rare, if you do get into trouble with a blue-ringed octopus, it is not going to be a fun ride after. Number 6. Flamboyant Cuttlefish there is only one toxic cuttlefish known to exist in the ocean, and it is the flamboyant cuttlefish. This is like the angry Elton John of cuttlefish, and is one brightly colored performer that can turn toxic when it wants to. Its poisonous flesh can kill any predator stupid enough to try and eat it. Just like the blue ringed octopus from earlier, the colors serve as a warning. Don't mess with this rainbow loving cuttlefish. Cuttlefish have two tentacles and eight legs, and they use the tentacles to reach out and grab their prey. And two clear feeding tentacles that will come out to capture their prey. They are named for the cuddle bone in their bodies, which is a special hollow part which they can fill with gas to change their level of buoyancy. They also walk around the ocean floor using their legs rather than swim. And although their base color is brown, they use their flashing bright colors to warn predators to stay clear. The effect is achieved by special pigment cells called chromatophores, which change the color of the skin. And this is also used as a kind of mating display a little like one of Elton John's fabulous outfits. Number 5. Fire Coral We've had the thing that looks like a jellyfish, but is actually some weird mutant, and now we have a thing that looks like coral. 
but is actually a fish. Confused? Okay, good. Fire corals are actually hydrozoas, which are very closely related to jellyfish. They attach themselves to coral, but are not actually coral. They just look like it for camouflage purposes. And why is it called fire coral? Well, that's because if you touch it thinking it's regular coral, you are in for a nasty, some may say, hot surprise. A surprise that feels like fire on your skin. They are found in subtropical tropical waters around the world, and they can adapt their coloration to pretty much any surface they find themselves attached to. When touched, parts of the calcareous skeleton can fire venom into the flesh, which is what causes the painful burning sensation. Like pretty much anything that lives on or near coral reefs, they are now threatened with human destruction of the world's coral reefs. So maybe they have every right to be kind of angry with us. Number 4. Stingrays Back in 2006, the world was shocked when we learned that the famous TV presenter Steve Irwin had died at a young age. Even more shocking for a man who spent his whole career getting up close and personal with some of the most dangerous animals on the planet was the news he had been killed by a stingray. Most people believed stingrays to be harmless, and this is more or less true. Only two people have died of stingray attacks in Australian waters since 1945, and one of them was Irwin. Both times it was pretty unlucky. The stinging barb hit them right in the chest, sending the venom straight to the heart. But it goes to show that these fish we love to swim with so much can be dangerous in the right circumstances. The venom actually has an anesthetic aesthetic effect, and ancient Greek dentists used it as a painkiller when performing dental surgery. How advanced were the ancient Greeks? That's pretty crazy. Next time you go to the dentist, see if he has an aquarium. If he does, then maybe you'll be getting a shot of stingray venom before your next filling. Number 3. Stargazer Stargazers are a fish family which have all their stuff pointing upwards, mouth and eyes mainly. That's why they're called stargazers. Except they are most likely not looking at the stars and are scoping out everything above them for prey. They like to bury themselves in the sand and leave just the eyes poking out, waiting for something tasty to pass by. Some species have a special appendage that also pokes out, looking like a worm, which attracts the kind of fish the stargazer likes to eat. But if you step on one, you will soon know all about it, as these fish are also venomous and can give a nasty sting. Not only that, but some species also have a special organ which produces electric shocks. So they are camouflaged, hidden, venomous, and electric shock giving. That is why they have been given the title of the meanest things in creation. As with so many of these crazy dangerous animals, there's people out there who like to eat them once you've taken out all the nasty parts. Although in this fish, removing the dangerous parts wouldn't leave a whole lot of fish to serve up on the plate. Number 2. Crown of Thorn Starfish the crown of thorn starfish gets its dramatic name from its resemblance to the thing Jesus had to put on his head before he was crucified, which was a pretty unpleasant experience to say the least, although maybe things would have been easier if he had worn just a regular starfish crown. Anyway, this starfish is one of the biggest starfish in the world and it lives all over the Indo-Pacific, but especially in the waters around Australia. It especially likes to live on coral reefs, and the tissues of starfish is something called a saponin, which produce all kinds of chemicals. These chemicals act as a kind of detergent, and if you put one of these starfish in a bucket of water, it will foam up like crazy. 
In the crown of thorn starfish, the tissues also contain venom, and when a person or unsuspecting creature touches the starfish, the spines can embed into the flesh, and these chemicals can cause sharp stinging pain and nausea almost immediately. So you should probably not put one on your head if you are reenacting the crucifixion for any reason. Well, there's a lot of other things you should probably avoid if you're doing that. Number 1. Beaked Sea Snake Out in Thailand, almost half of all sea snake bites come from the beaked sea snake, and a bite from one of these snakes can contain up to 9 milligrams of venom, which is 6 times the amount needed to kill a person. These highly venomous snakes live throughout the Indo-Pacific, and they are implicated in the majority of sea snake fatalities in the region. Of the 20 kinds of sea snake in the region, these are some of the most common, and they like to live in coastal waters, which is all around bad news for swimmers. People studying this species have described them as cantankerous and savage, and that's coming from the people who have devoted their whole lives to these angry beasts. Sea snakes are generally not considered to be aggressive, but if they do feel like biting, then it can be very bad news for the victim, as many sea snakes are even more venomous than their land counterpart. Terrifyingly, they can sometimes gather in groups, numbering in the millions, according to reports. That's one giant bowl of noodles I would not like to fall into. Which of these dangerous sea creatures were you most terrified by? Have you ever been stung by something painful in the ocean? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.